Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Martinez with Martinez Art Lab. Right now we're going to start a drawing that's going to be a silly sandwich. So I've got my Google Drawings document opened. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my untitled drawing, double click on it, and type in silly sandwich. And then I'm going to type in my full name. And now everything that I'm doing will be saved in my Google Drive while I'm working on it. So whenever I want to access it, I can come back to my Google Drive and access this. Um, so let me correct my spelling there. Okay, so we're going to start our drawing with two shapes. We're going to make a hamburger bun. And the way we're going to do this is click on the shape icon. Click on shape, and let's see if we've got any shapes that we can make look like a hamburger bun. Let's go ahead and get a rounded rectangle. That can be the bottom of our hamburger bun. So all I did was left click and drag, and this has become the bottom of my hamburger bun. Two things, I just clicked to the side so you can see this. Remember when I want to select something, I click this black arrow and I'll select it. I do not want that black outline on the edge of my shape. So I'm going to click the border color and I'm going to click transparent. That gives it a clear outline. Then I'm going to click the fill color, which is this paint bucket icon. And I'm going to change my color to um, a bun color. So kind of a brownish. This looks like a good brown for my bun color. Now I'm going to leave my bun the bottom of my bun about this color, and then I'm going to draw the top of my bun. I know that I wanna put a lot of stuff in between my buns, so I'm going to draw the top of my bun. Under the line icon, I'm gonna click the arrow, which is this will give me this drop down menu, and I'm going to click um, curve. And the curve is going to let me, and I'll start my bun at the top here, going to make, remember when you've got the curve line, every click you make, make adds a little bit of a curve to your, um, to your shape. I'm actually going to start down here and I will move it so I can match up my bun and the top and bottom a little bit easier. So click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. So at the end, I was really careful because your first click and your last click have to click together in the same spot because if they don't, then um, you won't get an enclosed shape. You'll get something like this. So if I'm clicking, 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 and then I click, that's not an enclosed shape. You see that open space right there? I need an enclosed shape to be able to add color to it. Also remember, whenever you make a mistake, this undo arrow, just click it and it will take your last mistake away. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing to the top of the bun as I did to the bottom. So I'll go to my black arrow, the select tool, and I will click on the fill tool and I will click the brown that I used. And then I'm going to click the border color and click transparent. So now I've got the top and bottom of my bun. So I'm going to move my bun up. Again, just using my select tool. I'm going to move it to the top of my page because I know that I'm going to put a lot of stuff in between. Um, if I want, I can take my mouse and put it right over this circle right on top. Then when I see that cursor, I can just kind of move, I'm left clicking and dragging. If I wanted to make my bun a little bit sideways, I could do that. Um, and if I don't like what I did, I can hit my back arrow to undo it. But I do like what I did. So I'm just gonna um, angle it just a little bit. And now I get to put all the fun stuff in my burger. So first thing I'm gonna do is add a hamburger patty because um, this is not a vegetarian burger today. So I'm going to use my curve tool and I'm going to do the same thing. I'll click on that. I'm going to do the same thing that I did to make the top of my bun. So I'm going to walk you through the clicks right now and then click, 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 
Click, click, click, click, click, click, click. And again, the most important thing is I want to make sure that this is a solid shape. Um, I'm going to do the same exact thing now. I'm going to go to the border color and click transparent. I'm going to go to the fill color and I'm going to pick the color of my hamburger patty. I know that I want um, a dark brown. So this is where we're going to learn how to play around with color in Google Drawing. So I'll click this same dark yellow. It's actually a dark yellow color that looks really brown on our screen. I'm going to click that same color and while it's still selected, I'm going to go back and I'm going to click custom because that was the closest color to what I wanted. So this is the color I'm using. This is where my color is on this color spectrum on the hue. This is the hue of my color. So I'm just going to kind of click, click, click around until I see the color I want my hamburger patty to be. And that is the color I have right now. That looks like the color I want. So I'm going to click OK. Now I've got a great color for my hamburger patty. Also, if I wanted to use that color again, it's going to be right here under custom colors. So I will because I think I'm going to make this a double patty burger. So let me go ahead and draw my second patty. And I know I'm going to use that curve line tool. I know my second patty is going to be right here, not quite in the middle. The best thing about drawing a sandwich is my shapes do not have to be perfect, right? Um, I already had that color selected, um, but if I didn't, I could go back in and just click right on that color. I already have transparent selected for my shape. Um, again, if I didn't, I go in and use those two tools to make what I want. I've got my curve tool selected. So now I'm going to add, let's see, I will add a slice of tomato right here. This is a really big tomato on my sandwich I'm going to add here. Um, so I'm going to move it down a little bit because I want it above my hamburger patty. And I'm going to change my color to a red. Maybe I guess that could be my ketchup or something like that too. Um, and I'm just going to keep adding my shapes. So I'm going to keep drawing them in. Um, and I can decide what they are going to be after I get them drawn. This could be my lettuce. And you can put whatever you want on your burger. So I want you to have fun drawing this. Um, I want that transparent line, remember. I also want to move that down. See how we see a little bit of white there? I'll just move it down a little because I don't want to see any of that white on my burger. So let's see what else we like on our burgers. I could draw some bacon on my burger. I could draw all kinds of toppings for my burger. So right now, we'll just keep drawing these shapes. And remember, I'm making lots of my burgers slowly getting bigger. So I actually want it smaller than the lettuce. So I'm going to delete what I just did. And I'm going to make it a smaller shape. And we'll start over here because it seems like where I start gets a little bit thinner than my other shape. So there we go. There's our shape. Um, I want to make that transparent. And let's add cheese. So there is my cheese. Um, I think I might add some... Hmm, what should this be? Well, I made a mistake, so I'm going to click that back arrow. Go back to my tools. I didn't make enough clicks, so my line was curving too much. I wanted to make sure that didn't happen. So there's my arrows. I have my transparent done already. Let's go ahead and make this... Let's pick a brown color and then make one more custom color. Um, how about I start getting a color for some, maybe some mushrooms. Okay. And I can go in and change my colors ever if I want to. Um, and let's add some purple 
onions to the top of my hamburger. My cheeseburger, I guess. Okay, so my purple onions. I need a transparent outline and I'm gonna make them dark purple. Um, and I made another mistake, so I will click delete. Here is my silly sandwich. Um, the last thing I want to do, let's see if there's a shape for this. I want to make, I don't see a shape. I'm going to make little tiny um, seeds. So I will use my curve tool and I will just make little clicks. Well, I made a mistake there. So click, click. Keep making mistakes, it can get a little tricky. So click, double click, 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 click, double click. Oops, delete that one. Click, double click, click, double click. What I'm doing right now is I'm adding seeds to the top of my burger. I'm gonna show you how these will look like seeds in a minute. I could leave them the way they look right now, but I have an even better idea. Um, when you make your silly sandwich, you can absolutely, does not need to look like mine. You can get crazy and wild and put whatever kind of toppings you want on your silly sandwich. So I'm gonna click on each of these and I'm going to go to this border weight icon. It's at one right now. If I put it on three and click to the side, it makes my line thicker. So now it's kind of looking like seeds. So my line weight, I'll click, put three. So everywhere I'm clicking, I'm just changing the line weight to three. Whoops. <clears throat> go to the right tool there. And now I've got some seeds on the top of my bun. Um, so again, when you do this project, I want you to have fun. Uh, put whatever kind of toppings you want on your hamburger or cheeseburger or make it a veggie burger, whatever kind of burger you would like it to be. Put your favorite toppings on there or put crazy toppings on here um, or maybe some things you wish you could try on a, on a burger um, and have lots of fun while you're making this. There we go. There's Mrs. Martinez's burger. Have fun doing this project.